Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, or welcome if you're new, I'm V, and today I'm bringing you guys another nano vlog. This is kind of like part two slash the final part, but mainly it's just a writing vlog because a lot was going on this month, so the goal was basically just to write as much as possible in my free time. But yes, this video is a little chaotic because I went to Spain for a week, and so I got all that footage for you and traveling alone for the first time and everything that ensued, so stay tuned for that. But first, I want to take a moment to thank the sponsor of today's video, which is Teddy Blake. Eee! I love Teddy Blake so much. I've collaborated with them before and they sent me this beautiful handbag and I've had it for months at this point and it still looks literally as good as new. I'm obsessed with it. It was so hard to choose a bag to be honest because they have so many options of different sizes, different colors, different styles, but I'm really happy with this one and I think I made a good choice because my mom and my sister use this too. We basically like share this purse because of how gorgeous it is and I love the red interior so much and it also has a mini zipper on the inside so it kind of doubles as a wallet too it's just so convenient and practical especially because I can put big things in here like my laptop and books so this is my go-to bag when going to like write at a cafe or commuting or something because it's so convenient how much I can fit in here and it looks so cute it also has a strap that you can style with or without but I think my favorite detail is the little apple like so adorable I love it so much and the reason this probably still looks amazing after a couple months of using it is because this is all made from Italy's finest leather. Right now, Teddy Blake is having an amazing sale with up to 75% off. So if you want to treat yourself to a new bag or treat someone that you love to a new bag, definitely use my code and the link in my description box to check them out. And once again, thank you so much to Teddy Blake for sponsoring this video. And without further ado, let the writing shenanigans begin, starting with heading off to Spain. Good to be here, kid. You gotta just go for it. Don't think about what comes after or what came before. You just gotta bend your knees, take a deep breath, and jump. And you might think, what if I fall? Well, what if you don't? What if you fly? Invisible, fin de facilité nos vérifications que. This is from how much I've been sweating. Literally, I don't even wanna talk about it. Um, someone please tell me why all the outlets in Paris are like this. I cannot charge any of this stuff and then all my chargers are USB-C, so my phone is literally gonna die. I don't even know what to do at this point. Okay, problem solved, you guys. I went down to the vending machine and got this adapter. <sighs> but yeah, so that's dealt with. And so now I can use it with my USB-C charger, but yeah, that was about to be the last straw. But anyway, yeah, so with the 15 voucher they gave me for free dinner because of my flight thing delay, I stopped by the only bakery that I could see on the way to the train and got this chicken sandwich. It's got chicken, tomato, and some eggs. I already took a bite of it because I got so hungry because I've just been walking around. He also gave me a shirt to change into, which is great because I do not have my luggage. It's coming to my final destination of Spain. So this will be nice to have so I don't have to stay in the same shirt that I'm in. And then the lady was so nice. I asked for one apple pastry, I think is what it, it's called. And she gave me two. So yeah, very nice. So I'm gonna muck this and just chill to be honest because I'm so tired. 
Okay guys, moral of the story of today is yes, I got put on another flight, it sucks, but I think they so made up for it with the free hotel stay and the, and the meals and all of that. Like, I know it's not the workers themselves' fault. It's no one's fault really. They had a smaller plane. I don't know to what, for what the reason was, but it is unfortunate that my flight got delayed several hours but i know not all airlines not all airline staff are that cautious with flight delays and stuff and like i don't know this is a cool new experience now i get to see that the first time i <laughs> flew alone i ended up getting an overnight hotel in paris it just sucks that like i can't go out and do anything it's so late at night i don't want to go out late at night alone in an area i'm not familiar with but all my friends are asking me like are you going out to see paris blah blah and serena was like go see the eiffel tower but like it's just way too late i wish i got news of it earlier like a lot earlier and like got to come here a lot earlier because then I would totally go and see stuff. But yeah, my flight tomorrow is at 9. I think it boards at like 8.50. I'm not missing this flight. So I'm going to be waking up at like 5 so that I can take a nice full body shower. I'm gonna take one right before bed, but I wanna take one in the morning too. Take advantage of the fact that I have a shower. I think that's so nice. After like walking around so much in the airport, I just need that like scrub. But yeah, I like self care. Like it's like pampering, pampering myself just feels so good. So I'm gonna, I'm looking forward to a, sh a morning of just like showering and prepping for one more flight. I'm so tired though. So it's 10 o'clock, but I am going to bed right now. Out of this whole journey, I actually got my first words in in Paris during my layover. I didn't film it cause oh, I need to get used to filming in front of people. It's something that I, I, I know I will get better at. And it's me, it has to be, do with me turning off that. Oh my God, what are people gonna to think of me like i need to overcome that because i don't remember anyone i like walked past people are not gonna remember me and be like oh my god why is she filming like i need to learn to overcome that but anyway i did not get any clips but i got a really good writing session in i thought i'd get some good writing done on the plane but on a plane i just don't want to write and then there's like people behind you i don't like the idea of people reading through and seeing what i wrote <laughs> so i ended up watching a movie on the plane and reading my book oh i finished The Love Hypothesis, by the way, so good. Five out of five stars. Now I can start the Spanish Love Deception, which I wanted to start because the Spanish, it's its set in Spain, I'm pretty sure, and I'm going to Spain. So now I get to start reading that. So very excited. But yeah, this week, I'm spending this week in Spain. Did I even say what I'm doing? Hi, I'm spending this week in Spain with my sister and her roommates who are on exchange right now in Spain. I was supposed to arrive tonight, but I'm arriving tomorrow morning because of the delay. And I still have school. It's not ideal timing, but it was just to visit Serena. Really was a point. So I feel like I have to talk quieter. Like, I don't know if there are people beside me. But yeah, I still have schoolwork to do, so it's gonna be a mix of schoolwork, nano, and Spain stuff. Woo woo. I'm so tired. I'm gonna go to bed. See you guys tomorrow. Wednesday and plan for today. We're gonna... speaking in a British accent. No, was yeah. that a British accent? Yeah, I did. Like, well, well, sometimes I do that. Anyway, we're gonna go to a cafe. Probably at like two. It's like 152 right now. Yeah, it's really cute. Gonna try to get some editing in, some schoolwork. And, and then, then we're going to this market called Mercado San Miguel. And it has a bunch of like really cool like vendors and stuff like that. So mm -hmm. and I've never been either, so it's gonna be like new for me too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I think that's it. Well right? shopping, a little bit of window shopping or okay, shopping. Actually shopping. that'll be really exciting. I wanna go to the Zara so bad. Oh yeah. Because yeah, I've heard of Zara. Right There's like so many Zaras here. Like literally in the strip. And yeah, that's okay. Be awesome. fun. Yep. Plans for the day. Leaving the 
cafe. It was so cute. It's called the Nomad Cafe. I think it's Nomad. Well, it's literally spelled N O M A D. But... Yeah. 